This evening we'll be making a roasted duck, and Andrew's making, what are you making tonight? I'm making chicken stuffed with cheese and other great stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. That's yeah. good. Um, what are you drinking over there? Uh, water. A water? A water? Where's my wine? Right there. There's my wine. I'm drinking nice white wine. Um, I don't know what it is because I put it, we put it into a different bottle and I forget what kind of wine it is now. Uh -huh. Oh well. Okay. It's delicious. It's sweet. So. Yeah. And we're doing white wine because our dishes are white meat. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. Even that is why we select the white wine. Whatever you want, but that's true. So like I said, today uh, today's menu is duck. And we've got a duck right here. This is our fancy little duck. Oh, let me get some. Some peppers. Mm -hmm. Paper towels. Let me just set up my cutting board because um, I, it was it, it was draining in the um, in the sink for a little bit, but we got to uh, get rid of all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, I'm inspecting the cavity, and I did wash my hands beforehand. Mm -hmm. I'm inspecting the cavity to see if they left us or left me a little present. Mm -hmm. It looks like they didn't. So sometimes when you when you buy like a chicken or or any poultry, uh, they might give you the organ meat. Oh, there it is. They might give you the organ meat. So there's the neck. In this case, they did. And these are the innards in this plastic little baggie. I'm just going to set them to the side for a second. Yo, can you grab a, uh, a bowl, an extra bowl? Yeah. Because I'm going to be start, uh, stuffing them back inside. We've got the... So just to recap, you bought an entire duck. Yes, I bought an entire duck. I believe that's the... Is that the heart? Is that the heart? Maybe the gizzard. What is... The liver. What is, for people who aren't used to it, like, what is... And that's the heart. What is so different about a duck compared to a chicken? Uh, it's just much larger, and it's, um... Larger? Yeah. I mean, look how big this thing is. Yeah, true. It's about uh, one and a half times that of a chicken. Okay. So. It's a, it's a bit pricier. It's like 30 bucks, um, or this was 30 bucks, but that could be because I bought it at Whole Foods, um, and their their prices are generally higher because of um, everything being organic and local and all that stuff. So. Yeah, quality. It's good. Well, th this duck comes from Mary's Farms, and that's like I think 340 miles away. Yeah, that's what the packaging always says. Anyway. So I'm taking the uh, the innards out because what I eventually want to do is and I'll wait for Andrew is I'm going to take this duck and I'm going to put it on this roasting pan. But before I put it on the roasting pan, I am going to lay the bottom of this with a bunch of vegetables so that the duck. When it's resting on this rack, the drippings will just fall right into it. So it's going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. This dish is going to take a while. It's going to be like, I'd say, four hours for this for this duck to, uh, to be done. I've uh, preheated the oven to, looks like, 325, 315. And, um, yeah, the duck goes away. I have my, uh, I have my chickens. Uh, these are chicken breasts, and uh, they're laid flat out um, and I cut a little bit of additional uh, the idea is going to be to stuff uh, butter and feta cheese uh, on here and then be able to roll the chicken up into a roll uh, from which we will dip it in breadcrumbs as a batter and uh, mm -hmm. grill it in oil so yeah, it's gonna be delicious yeah so in here I put in um, a yellow beet I uh, they come in a red variety normally, but uh, I saw some yellow ones at, at the market, and I was like, hey, I haven't eaten these in a while. Or, actually, I've never eaten them, so it just looks cool uh, visually, having yellow, uh, I'm, uh, cutting yellow up, vegetables. I'm cutting up dill here to put inside here. That's the uh, green. Uh, what, what is it going to be when it's done cooking? It's going to be dill. The is it going to be d delicious? Oh, delicious. I like it. <laughs> You're a very punny man there, Andrew. Mm -hmm. So. It's pretty much harmless. So I'm cool. 
What other, uh, so what, what, all, what are all the ingredients that are going to be good? Oh, it's actually really simple, um, and it's really easy to mix. So you can amaze your friends with your cooking prowess, which is really all just uh, uh, very shallow. Oh my god, how long did that take? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's actually, it, it cooks surprisingly well, uh, surprisingly short. And uh, let's see, uh, we're doing dill, we are doing butter, we are doing eggs for the uh, batter to dip it in. And uh, yeah, it'll be pretty tasty. So this is the third beet um, that I'm cutting up and putting in here. There's plenty of room for different kinds of veggies. So why not put as many as you can in there and take advantage of the real estate that you have. Um, what else is going to go in there? I've got some, um, I've got some turnips and a fennel bulb uh, cut up. It was left over from, from earlier. And so since they're denser veg veggies, they can handle, um, they can handle uh, the roasting and the drippings for a bit. So put those in. Well, that's beginning to look good. Oh, when you're getting butter, be sure it's butter and not spread like we discovered yesterday. <laughs> um, right here, I'm cutting up some, these are cremini mushrooms. And the sponginess of them will soak up all the delicious juices that are going to be dripping off that duck. Oh, I failed to mention that. Um, I'm going to be basting the duck with a white wine molasses uh, sauce. Your molasses is so sugar. Yeah, sugar. It's going to give it a nice, nice crust, nice skin. Um, give me these mushrooms. So now I have some white mushrooms. Blah, 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 blah. Put these in there. So Andrew, yeah. what did you learn this week? Yeah. Hmm. I learned that flammable and inflammable mean the same thing. Yes, they do. So you gotta say not inflammable. Not inflammable, but you would think in would be a negative, but apparently yeah. no. It, it feels like a negative, but it's not. It's, it's what did you learn this week, Jacob? I learned that. Um, oh. So we're going to be trying to give you weekly weekly news um, from the world of science and, and other industries and disciplines. But um, I did a little bit of homework this week. Uh, I learned that the old, oldest organism with a skeletal structure was found in Australia. Now, uh, previous thoughts, or uh, all evidence up until now, show that skeletal organisms started in the Cambrian period. So that's like... 542 to 488 million years ago. Is that pre-dinosaurs? Oh yeah, yeah, that's way before dinosaurs. Wow. These are like simple, simple, simple creatures. Uh, dinosaurs were 65 million years ago. Right, right. That's pretty wild. Um, for a second, I'm gonna get it, get the oil heating up, and uh, okay, pouring oil in a pan. Simple enough, right? Yep. You wanna bring the camera with you? Yeah. Anything new happening in Russia? How 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 are people reacting to uh, to Putin? Uh, there's been a few uh, there's been a few opposition protests, but they uh, they're lacking organization uh, each time. And mm -hmm. uh, and the way it works is you have a limit as to when you can protest, and you file it with the police. And uh, as long as you follow the uh, the times that you're allowed to stay in protest, uh, it should be no problem. It's when you overstay your welcome. If you uh, occupy the area for too long? If you occupy the area <laughs> for too long, yep. So there's a little bit of that, but for the most part, it is all right. However, uh, I, think it's, uh, I think the guy's name is, uh, or a woman's name is uh, something Millibrand from Britain, former uh, former uh, uh, minister or whatever in the, uh, in the English government. Uh, said that Putin's days are numbered. Very inflammatory rhetoric uh -oh. for Why supposed are they friends. Well, I just called him a despot and, you know, the usual dictator diatribe that they do. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I cut up a whole whole onion, and now I'm cutting up uh, some red tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes, potatoes. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm an idiot. That was... <laughs> 
Uh, some red potatoes. I'm just throwing them in there. Give it some starch. Now this is a big duck. I'm gonna season that a little bit with some salt. I don't think I'm gonna use all these potatoes. I'm dipping these chickens, uh, holding on to it with the ingredients inside, into uh, battered eggs that I just battered, and then uh, these bread crumbs. And that is going to be the crispy part that gets fried when we put it into the oil. And uh, this process needs to be repeated a couple times to really get a good layer of crust on there. So the next thing I'm going to do is make a white wine sauce uh, with the molasses and white wine. God, I wish I remember what kind of white wine <laughs> I had, but um, in my ingredients. Plantation Barbados unsulfured molasses. Mmm, delicious. Mm -hmm. And then some white wine, some sweet white wine. You want to have the sweet white wine because you want to, you want to match the uh, match the sweet note just a little bit of the molasses with the wine, and then the other flavors of the white wine. The, the dryness will um, will mitigate the, the dark dark flavors of the uh, of the molasses. At least that's my that's my theory. That's gonna hold up to find out when it's done cooking. So, I'm gonna be basting it with this uh, feather brush once the uh, once the reduction is is nice and soapy. This is some big molasses. So I'm just going to lay these chickens into the oil as they uh, Ooh, finish. Ooh, that is uh, good. That is tasty molasses. All right, so continuing on with the uh, with the veggies. So I got a lot of dense vegetables here. I should have I should have probably uh, made like a. Um, a leafy, a leafy green, mm. or like a salad to go with it. All right. And some oyster mushrooms. I'm putting them in here. Four different kinds of mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms, these were what, $5.99 a pound. Uh, Cremini's were $4.99. The white mushrooms were $3.89. So, um, and I think in total, in total, I spent 10 bucks on, the uh, on all the mushrooms that I have. That includes the maitake. The maitake, they were thirty bucks. A pound. They were thirty bucks a pound. They were. They you were don't have to buy a pound. You can get like a quarter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, get these guys right here, maitakes. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And as we as we continue cooking, then all this stuff is gonna uh, just start disappearing. I'm just breaking apart the mushrooms so that they can spread apart. And the other thing I have to start worrying about is um, is I can't get this too high because there's not going to be any room. And that's already the case. Anyway, so a bit of a structural structural elements not functioning here. That looks really good. Oops. I remember to look up a little bit. You forget to do that. Well, it's only the first episode. It's going to be, it's going to be better. This time we're going. People will forgive us. Okay. That's that. Oh, I want to um, I want to lay these these carrots down, and the reason well, step right there. The reason why I cut them lengthwise is because I think they look much nicer mm. lengthwise on the. Uh, in the roasting pond. There we go. Some more support. Take a quick picture of that. Yeah. Hopefully it's not going to be this crowded.